Hi guys, welcome to my Christmas countdown. Today is day number six of the 12 cakes of Christmas, which means only six more Christmas tree cakes to make. So um, for today, I'm getting kind of really sick of the same Christmas tree idea. So I decided to go a little crazier. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bloody right now, but once I add the other colors, it'll look better. On the sixth day of Christmas, the cake that came to be is a crazy paint splattered Christmas tree. Okay, so for today's cake, I decided to do a half a cake as well because of this reason. Because I'm going to do a, almost like a Jackson Pollock inspired painting, I kind of wanted it to look like a painting. So there, I wanted it to be able to do this and sit against something. And um, in order to do that, I did, I did half a cake. I put uh, ganache on the back so that it stays nicely glued to the board. And I covered the whole thing in one piece of fondant. See, there's no creases. So I just covered the whole thing. And with my fingers, I went in and carefully shaped it. And now I'm ready to splatter it with paint because, um, I don't know, I figured it was time for a little something different than the traditional Christmas cake. So I have red food coloring. I have green, green food coloring. I have some vodka and white. This is the tip for this cake. So the trick to doing this is putting, adding just the teeniest little amount of white so that it makes the paint opaque. Because if you don't, the red and the green will be slightly translucent and it won't look, I guess it will look more like watercolor rather than like uh, paint. So just a tiny little bit of white will do the trick, not enough to make it pink just opaque and start with a tiny bit and then add more if you need to. Oh, and we mix it with a little bit of vodka to make it runny. And I'll do the same thing for the green. <laughs> yeah, it looks a little bloody right now, but once I add the other colors, it'll look better. Okay, guys, this is it. I chose the Christmas colors so that um, I guess it looks like Christmassy. And uh, look, the cool thing about this is that once it's cool and it has set, the buttercream and the ganache have all set, um, you can display it standing up like this and it looks like a 3D Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it, but it was definitely fun and it, got, it helped my frustration. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching my 12 Cakes of Christmas countdown. If you haven't seen the other videos, please go back and check out my other Christmas videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching.